Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and today we're gonna be unboxing two versions of the Command & Conquer Remastered 25th Anniversary Edition, I think is what this is. These came from Limited Run, and uh, you see that they have the normal size one right there for $60, and the other one is $150. And I gotta be honest, I had no idea these were coming, although, you know, I'm not completely surprised because as you guys know, I was a big PC gamer in the late 90s and 2000s, and I played a ton of Command & Conquer back in the day. And uh, so they sent these to me to unbox, and man, this is uh, this is pretty cool. I have no idea what to expect here. So let's uh, let's dive right in. Now I'll admit I haven't played Command & Conquer Remastered. I'm not sure why, I guess it's just, you know, been busy playing other games, but uh, man, you know, I used to love these real-time strategy games back in the day. I played a lot of this one, as well as Total Annihilation. Remember that one, the 3D one? And, well, okay. Huh, wow, that's cool. Okay, so first off we have some digital assets collection. I'm not sure what this is here. Oh, okay. Looks like it's maybe a soundtrack or something. Again, I apologize. I have no idea when I came into this. <laughs> kind of going in blind a little bit here. This might be a physical version of the game, although I think it comes with a digital download code. So maybe that's not it. This may just be a soundtrack or a physical version of the soundtrack here. So I don't know, I'll have to pop that in and take a look at it. Digital assets, of course, that could just be art as well. So again, I apologize. I'm not entirely sure what all that is. Um, digging a little bit deeper here. Okay, okay, so this is cool. So this, this is the Tiberium crystals. And then here is the USB that plugs into it. Man, that is cool. So I believe this has the soundtrack on it because I know that there's almost like 120 songs that were included. So yeah, that is beautiful, that's cool. And then we have some pins here from the different factions. That's cool, nice metal. They look great actually. And then here are the tech trees for the different factions. You see the GDI one there. And I like how it's laminated, that's really nice. Huh, so yeah, it's not gonna get damaged or you can spill something on it. You can, you know, put your uh, put your Mountain Dew down on it or your beer. That's cool. Soviet tech tree. Okay, cool. And it looks like you have some stickers here for the different factions as well. I might have to put those up around my game room. I've been putting stickers on my old school CRT. So uh, you might be seeing these in a game room tour. Uh, the next one that I do. And then here is a poster. Now I know this thing is double-sided, so that's cool. So it's reversible poster. That actually might be going up in my game room as well. That is such a classic, iconic photo. That's awesome. And then here's the Nod Tech Tree. Again, very useful when you're planning out both your single player and multiplayer games. So yeah, so that's the regular edition, which as you can see has a ton of stuff packed into it. And uh, Limited Run sold that for 60 bucks. So that's pretty cool. All right, moving on to the granddaddy here. So this was the, the big boy, and this one was, I believe, $150. And gonna open it up here, take a look inside. I assume it's probably gonna have a lot of the same things as the regular edition. Oh, it's funny to call that a regular edition because it had so much stuff packed in there, but that's what you got back in the day with big box PC games. Lots of feelies. But yeah, nice looking cover. I like how it's embossed and it's kind of got a, a foil finish to it. Now it's obviously a fingerprint magnet, but I'm okay with that. And then, okay, so we got a lot of the same stuff here. I'm not surprised. We have, uh, yeah, all the different tech trees for the different factions. We have the same poster, which is great. Uh, same assets CD there. I'm gonna have to pop that in to figure out what the heck it is. As well as the Tiberium crystal with the USB. And then, okay, so then you have the physical soundtrack here. Looks like it's signed by the uh, by the artist. That's cool. Huh. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Signed. Okay, cool. And I believe that's a six CD set. There are the uh, the pins. And then we got this beanie here, which uh, okay, looks like it's reversible. 
I'm not much of a beanie guy. I typically don't wear hats because I look like a complete dork with it <laughs> with a hat on, but wow, yeah, that's cool. I know lots of people who do. And then uh, we got some patches here, again, for the different factions. And uh, they seem kind of thicker than normal. Interesting. Oh. oh, okay. So it's got some Velcro there. So you could maybe iron it on to like a jean jacket or something like that. And then you could pull it off to maybe clean it. Huh. That's cool. Interesting. Okay, cool. So we got, uh, wow, check this out. This is the... Uh, the mammoth tank used by the GDI. And that thing is heavy. That is solid steel. I think it's steel, it, weigh, it weighs and feels like steel. Huh, that's cool. Double barrel action going on there. Wow, yeah, that, no wonder this box is heavy because that thing is definitely solid. And then next to that, it looks like we have the obelisk of light used by the Nod. So that was a, I believe an anti-aircraft weapon and uh, that's cool. So this one is uh, this one is plastic, but it's uh, it's painted a little, it's a little bit distressed. And you see this little tab here. Okay, so pull that out. Uh, okay, so that activates the battery, and then uh, the top button fires off fires off the laser to take down some aircraft. That's cool. All right, I dig it. And then next to that, looks like we have the Tesla coil that, of course, was used by the Soviets in the game and. Okay, pull the battery off here and then tap the top and that fires off. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, and then down below here, we got an art book. I believe this is like almost a hundred pages or so. And again, this is where it's getting into the remastered version of Command and Conquer, which again, I haven't played yet. I know, I have no excuse. I should have played it. I've heard lots of good things about it. And, you know, and it's one of those games where I think most people feel the original was you know, near perfection when it comes to the actual gameplay. And uh, it's cool that they went back 25 years later, updated all the graphics. I also believe they did some tweaking of the interface and some of the gameplay, but not a lot. I remember watching a video review. This is probably a couple months ago. So apologize if my, uh, my memory is a little rusty on this, but it's definitely one of those games that is on the list that I want to check out. So. Yeah, this is cool, man, huh, all right. And then down below there, we have the instructions for the Tesla coil as well as the obelisk. So, okay, they probably have to include that just because it's got a battery in there. Um, digging around in here, see if there's anything underneath the foam. Nothing that I can see, so yeah, wow. You know, again, limited run, man. I mean, when it comes to these big box PC special editions, they are going all out. I mean, this is next level stuff, you know. Uh, I, 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 I'm blown away by all of the things that they do with these. You know, this reminds me of the, the Sigil one that they did for Doom. I mean, they just packed that one full of stuff too. So yeah, a very cool tribute to an amazing game and an amazing franchise. So I wanna thank Limited Run for sending me this. That was totally unexpected and completely awesome. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are playing the remastered version and if you got this special edition as well. All right, guys, talk to you later.